So today, Trey got kicked out of daycare for a legitimate reason, <laughs> and that's diarrhea. He wasn't kicked out, they didn't ask him to leave, but if he is sick or has a stomach thing, I wanna get him out. Uh, we have, I think it might just be from all the apple juice that we've been giving him for potty training. So I'm changing the diaper and going home, I guess. And while I was changing his diaper, he continued to drink his smoothie while laying down. Common sense and babies do not go together. I just drove by a liquor store slash check cashing place. Two in one. Way to be irresponsible. <laughs> now that we're home, he's clothed. Actually, I just dropped him into his car seat naked. I mean, with a diaper, but you know, naked. Uh, now we can talk about how potty training went. So we tried to continue the potty training over the weekend. Here's what happened. Oh, good morning, sir. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. Yeah. It's our first full day of potty training. Uh, we got one poop on the potty, two pee pee accidents. That's our score right now. Oh, and I'm down one outfit. <laughs> we 0 for 3. We're 0 for 3 within less than an hour. I feel like, I feel like, if we keep giving them juice, we gotta, we gotta make it every 15 minutes. Yeah. Don't worry guys, now we're one for four. <laughs> one for four, and he's only been awake for two hours. <laughs> ah! Good job, dude. Let me show you some stuff that we have set up. We have a dirty underwear bowl for all the dirty underwear. No, you don't get any M&Ms till you go pee pee. Uh-uh, yucky. No. Trey. No. <laughs> you have to go pee pee to get those. You have to go pee pee to get those. Mm-hmm, that's how that works. You have to go pee pee. <laughs> this is where I sit. That's where Trey sits. Come on, let's get out of the bathtub. Bathroom. We got the timer going on my phone. Somehow we have misplaced the all-purpose cleaner that we used to clean countertops or spills or whatever. So I have a soapy bucket of water waiting <laughs> for when he pees somewhere. But he's actually really good about peeing on the rugs, unfortunately. I knew there was a reason that I waited so long to get our carpets cleaned. It's this. <gasps> M O U S E. Okay, two for five. Sitting here, got up, feet on the floor. I said, no, no. He stopped. That's that's next level skill, dude. I can't even stop. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh... You know, this is just how it's going to be. You know. Also, <laughs> just in case anyone's bitten. Hey, we're going to sit there. They're getting so bored on the potty. You're like a turtle with a shell. <laughs> Can you sing a song to our friends? Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F. G. H, J, K, L, M, N, O. What comes after O? P. And that's what you should be doing. Okay. You want another one? Oh, okay. Great. What about this one? Where should this one go? Oh, perfect placement. Good thing I don't have any eyebrows in the first place. Oh, in my hair. Ah, ow! Here, I gotta do it fast. Ow! Ah! Yep, that's good. <gasps> I'm taking all my stickers. That is a circle. Uh huh. What else? Ultimately, we stopped trying Saturday night. I mean, he did pretty well when we would put him on the toilet, but he still had a lot of accidents, and I think this was just like dipping our toes into the potty training pond. And there's a few reasons that we stopped uh, trying after that. Uh, the first one is that my parents came in that night, 
and we had some friends over. I think you have to be really dedicated to it and I couldn't do all of that stuff while we had guests over. Um, so you really have to pick a good time that you can just dedicate your attention to the kid. So another thing, I always read about like, when's the kid ready, blah, blah, blah. But also, the parents have to be ready, mentally. I mean, you just have to be there. I really wasn't. Uh, I was trying to think, maybe push something a little too soon. There's a lot of different theories where people are like, kids are ready whenever you're ready. And there's other ones that are like, you have to wait till, you know, they're on their own timeline. You have to wait till they're ready. In my head, he's already two. Just expect him to be able to do some things that he might not be ready to do yet. Be two in a month, but in my head, he's so much older than that. And I have to sometimes remind myself like, Lindsay, he's still not even two yet. You gotta slow down. Do you imagine if I sent him to daycare today without a diaper? The diaper would have leaked even more. So, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna wait a few weeks and block out, block off a weekend where I can just give him my full attention. But you guys have heard about all the times that Trey's been kicked out of daycare for stupid reasons like coughing. And he wasn't even kicked out today, but he had a leaky diaper and I don't really know why his diarrhea is that bad. Stomach and diarrhea viruses are so contagious, I voluntarily was like, okay, we're just gonna go home. But I have to commend this one mom that was there because all the other times he's been sick or seemed sick and he's gotten kicked out. There's been like a mom who's like, meh, 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 meh. don't have that kid around my kids. But there was a mom in there and I think she was like giving her kids a snack or something in between her workouts. And um, she's like, do you need any help? I have like a pad that you could change them on, blah, blah, blah. Like didn't try to get her kid away from my kid. It was very like understanding and helpful. And I just wanted to say, lady who I don't know, you are a great fucking mom <laughs> because you understand. And I kept apologizing because the whole room smelled so bad. And she was just like, it's fine. It's part of being a mom. Don't worry about it. I was like, I love you. And I wish I had shown her my appreciation at the time, but I was just so embarrassed that I was like, no, I'm good. Thank you. We're going to go. See you later. Bye. <laughs> but, uh, so dear anonymous lady, you're awesome. <laughs>